up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kicks. He doesn't always intend on landing him, but he beats up your arms with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes now with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. So these fighters are just a year apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, protect yourself at all time will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going early. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Ooh, big shot land. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. 
Just over three minutes now to go. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And he landed the right hand there. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? Nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Slips the punch. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Big head kick. Misses with that punch. Oh. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, nice job. Right, a lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1 level right. kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. The next with a right. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Just missed with that right hand. And he lands the knee to the body now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. That inner zone, it's like the basketball hoop, it's become twice the size. This guy today is looking at focus fence in his opponent. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Game of inches right Damn there, you. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, nice knee to the body for him there. Very nice. Beautiful strike. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Right up the elbow. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Slips to avoid that left.
misses with the right hand. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Twenty seconds left. Well, he's been good tonight, but he missed with that. So an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going here. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. his reach advantage as he landed the jab. Huge shot, finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Big kick lands. Shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes on, he is not discriminating, working the body, and those shots are gonna count. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Real sneaky body kick. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Blocks the shot. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big roundhouse now just misses. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. Keep going again. Go on again. Pretty good right hand. Oh! Entertaining scrap so far. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round.
Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. His leg is hurt here. You can see him limping a little bit. Nice punch, Lynn. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got an opponent hurt very bad. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. Just over three minutes to go now. There's the kick, it's blocked. Great punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. Very tricky to control that body kick. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Superman punch. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice leg kick. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary. You keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. You ready? You ready? Fifth and final round, fourth come. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. minutes now to go in this one. Straight punch land. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. 
liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Big kick lands. Well placed with the kick. Just misses there with the left. What a tricky head kick. like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. Official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 49 46. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly. Pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a few moments, he was the one that truly did lead all the interactions. He's the person that truly did dictate if the fight was 